4 times the square root of 50 times x to the fifth power. So again, let's go ahead and follow through with what we have in our multiplication. So I'm going to do 4 times the square root of 50. And again, remember, we can break it up into the square root of x to the fifth. Right? Remember, when we have the product, remember, it has to be the product or the quotient. It cannot be addition and subtraction. I'll say it one more time because a lot of people make that mistake. You cannot separate under addition and subtraction, only under multiplication and division. All right? So when Jade's looking up here, she can see that the square root of 50. So I go again to it. I now want to simplify the square root of 50. You can look at this by doing your factoring tree. Or ladies and gentlemen, we can look at our square numbers and say, how could I rewrite the square root of 50 as a product of one of my square numbers? Right. I can rewrite that as the square root of 25 times 2, which is the square root of 25 times the square root of 2, which is 5 times the square root of 2. Right? Good. OK. Now, here's where it might get a little more difficult as well. Let's go and take a look at our square numbers with x's. Can you take the square root of x and get a value? now, right? Can I take the square root of x squared? Yeah. yeah, the square root of x squared equals x. What about the square root of x cubed? Can you take the square root of x cubed and get an even now? No. What about the square root of x to the fourth? Yeah. Can you do x to the fifth? x to the sixth? Right, guys? Remember, what you want to do is anything, as long as it's divisible by 2, as long as you can write whatever your product is, or your exponent, as long as you can write it as a product of 2, now the square root and the squaring are all going to undo each other, leaving you with x cubed. But we don't have x. No, you don't. But I'm just kind of going through this. So I'm just going to explain this in a little bit, because we have x to the fifth, right? Yeah. Okay. So, so is x to the fifth? Can we take the square root of x to the fifth? No. Crap. Right? Can we write it then as a product then of one of our square numbers? Yes. X to the fourth times what? Guys, if I say x to the fifth, I know my only square number, I can do x to the fourth. What do I need to multiply x to the fourth by to get it to be x to the fifth? x to the first power, right? Now, do we know what is, so now this is the square root of x to the fourth times the square root of x. Do we now know what the square root of x to the fourth is? x squared. Therefore, this is x squared times the square root of x. All right. Now, you can multiply when you have a term inside of a root, Madison, and another term inside a root. You can multiply those. All right. <coughs> and then the ones outside, you can multiply those. So you do 4 times 5 times x squared, which is 20x squared times the square root of 2x. I made it so complicated? I thought I went through it step by step by step by step. Well, I can go through it really quickly if you want me to. No, no, no. It's okay.